Hey everybody, I'm Lewis. I'm training to become Final Fantasy XIV's real life warrior of light. That means I have to learn and master every job in the game. So in order to do that, I have to build a controller for every class to literally learn how they work. Sometimes that means doing really cool things like modding a Yu-Gi-Oh dual disc to play Astrologian. And sometimes that also means doing really dumb things like building a boxing glove controller to play Monk with. And honestly, Final Fantasy XIV is a funny game if you think about it. In this game, you have dragoons and warriors swinging their weapons on badass bosses that shoot laser beams. And in the background, you have a nerd with a book. No, but seriously, look at the scholar's auto attack. They literally bonk you on the head with a book and I love them for doing that. No matter if this class is for nerds, I must learn how to become a scholar and a summoner to complete my quests. So today I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV with an actual book. So a month ago, I was messing around with some hardware that could detect writing into a journal. And as any engineer would do, I did some math to figure out how to turn the phrase your mom into an input. Finally, I'm using my four and a half years of college depth into something useful. With the prototype ready to go, I had to ditch the small journal for something a little more useful. And yes, we actually built an entire book from scrap to play scholar with. The book itself was inspired by the hard leather grimoire weapon in Final Fantasy XIV, and my partner did a really good job building the prop. While she designed and crafted the book, I worked on installing the hardware into it. And honestly, if the book controller ever failed, we have a really good prop for a future scholar cosplay. Just, uh, don't look at the wire management inside the book. I'm a little Garbisto at stuff like that. And speaking of Garbisto, uh, let's check out the pencil build. Oh god, it's ugly. I'm so sorry, everybody. Okay, in my defense, I thought when I ordered a large pencil, it would be like a prop I can drill into and like hollow out. Turns out it's actually a comically large pencil filled with graphite. So my dumbass just decided to drill the buttons and the board into the pencil so it wouldn't break the pencil structure integrity. And hey, as long as it doesn't catch on fire or electrocute me, I say it's a job well done. The pencil itself handles the movement and targeting. This may look really uncomfortable to use, but I used to play Elder Ring by literally squatting. Nothing will ever be as uncomfortable as having to actually squat to heal in the middle of battle. The book itself handles the Arcanist abilities. There are three buttons on the left side of the page to determine what abilities queued up. For example, pressing the bottom button cycles through damage abilities like Ruin or Bio. On the right side of the book, there are two sensors, one at the top of the book and one at the bottom. Remember the Your Mom program that I made earlier in the video? Well, each sensor does the exact same thing when you write into the book with the giant pencil. In order to cast the queued up spell, you must write on the sensor for a determined amount of time. So when I continuously scribble on the top of the book, it'll eventually cast Ruin. And when I do the same thing at the bottom of the book, it'll eventually she cast bio. This also goes for healing or really any ability mapped onto my crossbar. The controller itself doesn't mod Final Fantasy XIV, but in reality, it's actually just a really bad Xbox controller. Also, in the heat of battle, it's a little hard to write actual words into the book, so I kind of just doodle around until the spell gets casted. So sorry to any tank I wasn't able to heal, I was a little too busy trying to draw this cool looking S into my book. To make sure that Yoshi P didn't slam me with the ban hammer, I tested this book in the duty support queues. I would feel terrible if I brought this build into a full party of people because I'm so bad with this. However, Ever. What do y'all think? Y'all, uh, y'all think we're ready for Temple of Corn? We're ready for any challenge life can throw at us. <laughs> With you and that pin. <laughs> and that outfit. And this, what is that supposed to mean? A few moments later. Ooh, I'm getting out of that. Ooh, put yourself! Come back to me! <laughs> guys, guys, one second. Keep me alive for like two seconds. I can res him. I can res him. Give me like two seconds. Two seconds. No, get away from me! Ah! Figure this out. We can figure this out. Okay, just. Okay, it's gonna take a bit. <laughs> no, it's Don't you look at me! Okay, give me a second. Gotta switch to the right book page. Okay, okay. I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. So what is it like playing Final Fantasy XIV with a book controller? Managing the spells and the gameplay with the book wasn't the worst. One thing I didn't account for is how big this book actually is. This is a healthy looking book like damn this book is thick. It was barely resting on my arm and it felt like I was going to drop it at any point. I can no longer make fun of the scholar for looking like a nerd because I also became a nerd with this low budget cosplay. And after hours of running dungeons with the book, I can say the build was pretty okay. And the best part is, we didn't die. Well, uh, most of us didn't die. Not the highest bar for deciding if I master the class, but hey, I'm taking any W I get. But I can say I became Erosia's real life scholar. Not the best scholar and maybe the worst, but definitely a scholar in the end. And with that, that's another healer off the job board with plenty of jobs left to go. Maybe it's time to actually finish that tank controller I've been working on for months now.